my grandmother Gladys. Uh, I remember her as being a very straightforward woman, very tough as far as her exterior, uh, always handled herself in any situation that was handed to her. My grandfather, Heine, uh, he was a quiet man to me, but uh, he was very slick with his humor, sometimes tasteful, sometimes distasteful as far as humor goes, but. You really love your garden, don't you, Pappy? <laughs> Yeah, he came. He he's very close to to what uh, Heine was to me. Uh, you know, there there's a few scenes in the movie where he's talking to Stephen and Mick cracking some jokes about how he could bury Nanny and stuff out in the. Th that that was his type of humor, and uh, I I like I said I believe both people did an excellent job. I do remember the house. Uh, the house was actually, it, it's it was across from where the the. Uh, the Binney and Smith factory is now. Uh, at the time, it wasn't there. And where my grandparents had this house, uh, it was just surrounded by cornfield in all directions. And it went for miles. Uh, the one thing that they always warned us about is, you know, don't be going into the cornfield because you can get lost. And there was a time I didn't listen and I ran in and I purposely just kind of sat in the cornfield and wouldn't answer anybody. And everybody panicked and my parents got involved and everybody. I had everyone really scared, uh, you know, justifiable, but uh, but at the time for me, I thought it was just fun. Movies like this, I think, hit more to home with people because you can be terrified because this was also a real situation. You know, being as, as young as I was, I don't remember as much as some of the other people do, but for me, myself, it was it was bad. 